Beyond Borders, the passports of the Sovereign Military Order of Malta. Do you know what the rarest passport in the world is? It's from the Sovereign Military Order of Malta, also known as the Order of Malta. This group isn't just a religious organization, but also a humanitarian aid group that operates in over 120 countries. It is surprising to learn that it doesn't have its own land, yet it's still a sovereign entity with its own passport. The Order of Malta gives out two kinds of passports, diplomatic and service. Diplomatic passports are for leaders and diplomats, and about 500 of them exist. Service passports are for special missions in areas of danger. These passports are given to the Order of Malta's humanitarian workers and officials. Only around 50 of them are currently in use. Both passports are important for members and help them carry out their work around the world. They offer help to those going through difficult times, such as wars or natural disasters. Even though this organization doesn't have its own country, its passports are highly valued internationally. Welcome everyone to English for You. I'm Adam. And I'm Elsie. And Elsie, mm -hmm. if I had to ask you, what is your favorite thing to do, what would you say? Oh, good question. But my number one answer would have to be traveling. Ah, traveling, mm. yeah. Especially traveling abroad. Oh, so visiting other countries. Yes. Okay, well, yeah, that's probably a lot of people's favorite things to do. Mm -hmm. But in order to travel to other countries, we need to get our passport. Mm -hmm. And in today's article, everyone, our article focuses on a very, very special passport. Wow. All right, let's go. Our article starts off by saying, do you know what the rarest passport in the world is? There we see the word passport. It's a special document from the government that proves who you are and allows you to travel to other countries. An example sentence we could say is, don't forget to bring your passport with you when we or you go on vacation. Passport 指的就是你要出国的时候要携带的护照。那你到了机场，护照给这个人员看了之后，他会给你一张 boarding pass，、mm. 那就是登机证。好，那相关的这些可以证明你身份的东西，还有比如说 identity card， 那就是你的身份证。所以这些都可以证明你的 identity， 你的身份。Okay, so we know you need your passport.、Mm -hmm. So can you guess? What is the rarest or most unique passport there is? 到底世界上最稀有的护照是什么呢？这边用到最稀有的 the rarest， 好、mm. ，这是一个形容词的最高级。那原级形容词是 rare, r a r e. I don't know what it is.、Oh, okay. You do you know?、Um, I don't really know, but I mean, if we keep reading, I'm sure we're going to find out. <laughs> 是的，在揭晓这本护照之前呢，我们先来看一下今天的 language in focus. 今天的 language in focus 的重点是 W H 疑问词引导的间接问句。那 W H 疑问词可以形成直接问句，这个我们都知道。那句型会是呢？前面你放上 W H 疑问词，后方加上助动词或 be 动词之后，再接上主词。像是 What are you doing？ 这一个句子就在问你正在做什么。但是呢，当我们把 W H 疑问词并入另外一个直述句，也或者是 Yes No 问句的主要。子句当中的时候啊，这个疑问句的结构就会改变为间接问句，又称作 W H 名词子句。那句型就会是主词加上动词加上 W H 疑问词之后，加上主词，再加上助动词以及 be 动词或是一般动词。For example, Do you know where the restroom is? 你知道厕所在哪里吗？疑问词 where 带出主词 the restroom， 再接上 be 动词 is。那间接问句什么时候用呢？
呢，就是你想要表达比较委婉、客气的语气的时候，你可以使用。那不过，如果间接问句当中的 W H 疑问词就是主词的时候，那你的结构就要改成 W H 疑问词加上助动词，再接上 be 动词或是。一般动词，像是呢 ，The teachers want to know who broke these three windows. 老师们想要知道是谁打破这三面窗户的。那在这个间接问句当中，疑问词 who 同时也是主词，然后带出动词 broke， 再带出受词 these three windows. Okay, so what is this rare passport we're talking about? Well, our article says. It's from the Sovereign Military Order of Malta, also known as the Order of Malta. Oh, so the Sovereign Military Order of Malta 就是马耳他骑士团。嗯，那这里的形容词 sovereign， 它的意思就是主权独立的。那名词 order 在这里指的是宗教团体。所以这个最稀有的护照呢，来自于马耳他主权军团，也被称为马耳他骑士团。Interesting. Yeah, it's quite interesting. And this group isn't just a religious organization, but also a humanitarian aid group that operates in over 120 countries. There we see the word religious, which is an adjective. It is connected with beliefs, practices, or worship related to a specific faith or deity. So an example that we could say using religious would be, Easter is an important religious event in the Catholic tradition. Religious 这个形容词呢，指的就是宗教的。那宗教本身这个名词啊是 religion. Right. 嗯、mm.。So you could say, my, well, my mom is a very religious person. 哦、oh, ，那这边就会变成虔诚的在解释，就是很虔诚的一个人。Right. 那接下来呢，我们还看到一个名词是 organization. Very good. Organization is a noun. It's a group of people who form a business club. Or some other kind of group together in order to achieve a particular goal. So we could use an example sentence with the local environmental organization is holding an event to raise money. Organization 这个名词呢，指的就是组织或是机构。所以，我们课文说到呢，这个组织不仅仅是一个宗教组织，还是一个在一百二十多个国家开展人道主义、人道主义援助的组织哦。所以，我们就看到了这个形容词 humanitarian。好，它指的就是人道主义的，后面加上 a i d。Aid 是援助，是协助，所以啊 ，humanitarian aid 那就是人道主义援助。Yeah, so I wonder, does this passport actually belong to like a land area or no? Right? Maybe so, not. I'm not sure. Well, it says the sovereign.、Uh, it's sovereign, right?、Mm-hmm. So we know maybe there's something kind of special about it that's、yeah. not just like a regular passport. Right. We could continue to find out that actually it says. It is surprising to learn that it doesn't have its own land. Oh, 令人惊讶的是呢，它其实是没有自己的土地。So this actually answered your question. Exactly.、Mm. And finding out more, it says yet it's still a sovereign entity with its own passport. 那它仍然是一个拥有自己护照的主权实体。所以，我们刚刚有讲过这个形容词 sovereign， 它是主权独立的。那后面接了一个 entity， 这个名词指的是实体，也就是独立存在的组织或是个人。那 sovereign entity， 那就是主权实体。Yeah, and I can see kind of why this might be the rarest passport of all.、Mm. Reading on, everyone, it says the Order of Malta gives out two kinds of passports: diplomatic and service. There we see the phrase "give out something," and that is to distribute or provide something to people. It's to distribute. 我们刚刚有说到呢，马耳他骑士团发放两种护照，一种是外交护照，另外一种是服务护照。所以在说到外交护照的时候呢，我们用到了这个形容词 diplomatic。好，它这个形容词指的就是外交的。Like on Halloween, all the neighbors we could say past tense gave out what candy. 嗯哼，好，所以 give out 刚刚又回到这个。
运动词哈，就是分发的意思。所以呢，这两种护照 ，What are these two kinds of passports? Okay, well, let's find out. So, and like, who can get them, right? Yeah. So, good question. Maybe,、uh, you know, maybe we could get one. Maybe. All right. Who knows? Well, let's keep reading and find out. Diplomatic passports are for leaders and diplomats, and about five hundred of them exist. Diplomatic passports, 那就是外交外交护照，它是给领导人还有外交官的。那目前呢，它是有五百本。So diplomats, 外交官们可以获得。So if you're a diplomat, you can possibly get right. one. Right. And there are service passports too.、Uh-huh. Who can get those passports? Ooh, who can get the service passports? Let's find out. Well, it says service passports are for special missions in areas of danger. Ooh, so maybe some dangerous areas that need to be helped or、uh, services provided for.、Mm-hmm. Let's find out more. Okay, so everyone, in the last sentence, we saw that. Uh, service passports are for special missions. We see the word mission, which is a noun. It's a special task or assignment that someone is given to do. So, an example sentence we could use would be: The team's mission is to save lives in the war zone. Mission 这个名词呢，指的是使命或是任务。那有一个很有名的电影《Mission Impossible》。哦，我 Tom Cruise 啊，《不可能的任务》里面那个片名哈，就有 “mission” 这个字。那我们说到服务护照呢，它是为这个危险地区的特殊任务而发放的。Okay,、嗯、well, let's find out more about these special passports. Continuing on, it says these passports are given to the order of Malta's humanitarian workers and officials. These passports are given to the order of Malta's humanitarian workers and officials. These passports are given to the order of Malta's humanitarian workers and officials. These passports are given to the order of Malta's humanitarian workers and officials. These passports are given to the order of Malta's humanitarian workers and officials. These passports are given to the order of Malta's humanitarian workers and officials. These passports are given to the order of Malta's humanitarian workers and officials. These passports are given to the order of Malta's humanitarian workers and officials. These passports are given to the order of Malta's humanitarian workers and officials. These passports are given to the order of Malta's humanitarian workers and officials. These passports are given to the order of Malta's Are currently in use. Oh, so not many. And there we see the word currently, which is an adverb. It's happening or being done at the present time, right now. So an example we could use is the movie we want to see is currently playing at the theater next to our house. We also see the phrase in use. In use is. Something that is currently being used or actively employed. 好，那我们整理一下喽。首先看到的副词 currently 指的是目前，指的是 right now。那你把字尾的 ly 拿掉，你会看到 current。好，这个形容词是目前的。那如果你把它拿来当名词使用的话，它可以指的是气流啦、水流或是电流这些意思。那另外呢，这个片语 in use 指的就是被使用。那你要用到这个片语的时候，记得你前面要先出现的是 be 动词 be in use。Something is in use。那课文说，目前仅有约五十本的护照正在被使用。So only fifty are currently、right. in use. Wow, not many at all. Ooh, you have to be very special to get one of these. And finishing up, everyone, it continues to say both passports are important for members and help them carry out their work around the world. And here we see the phrase "carry out." Let's learn more about、mm-hmm. it. Okay. In the last sentence, we saw the phrase "carry out something." So, carry out something is to do or perform something to complete a task or an activity. An example that we would use, and you students probably could use, is the students will carry out a science experiment in the classroom. Carry out something 指的是执行或是进行某事。那这个片语动词呢是可拆式的，所以你可以把 carry 跟 out 打开，中间放上东西。好，比如说 carry out a plan 或是 carry a plan out 都可以。那这两种护照对马耳他骑士团的会员都很重要，有助于他们在世界各地展开工作。Okay, so jumping back to our article, it says they offer help to those. Going through difficult times,、mm-hmm. such as wars or natural disasters, there we see go through something. 
and go through something is to experience or endure something to pass through a difficult or challenging situation. Go through something, 那就是经历某事 Go through difficult times, 那就是经历困境那如果是 go through difficulties, 一样也是经历困境的意思还有一个字可以放在这边是 hardship.、Mm. 那这个片语动词就是不可拆的。好，你 go through 是要放在一起的。那课文就说到了，他们为那些正在经历困境的人提供帮助，比如说战争啦，或是自然灾害等等。所以我们看到灾害这个字是 disaster， 前面用 natural。Natural 来形容的话呢 ，natural disasters， 那就是自然灾害、天然灾害。Yeah, nobody wants to go through natural disasters. They're terrible. You have to endure it. All right, jumping back to our article, everyone. Even though this organization doesn't have its own country, its passports are highly valued internationally. There we see the word. Value, which is a verb, they're highly valued internationally. So, value is to think something is important or useful, to consider something valuable. An example sentence I could use is: I value spending time. With my wife. Hmm.、嗯、value 这个动词呢，就是重视或是珍视。所以呢，最后就说到了，尽管这个组织没有自己的国家，但是这个护照在国际上还是受到了高度的重视。Yeah, what's really valued highly now, also in my classroom, a lot of times I see Pokemon cards, and they're like, "Ooh, this one is highly valued." 哦，就是学生们都很重视的东西。<笑><笑>好啦，那同学们喜欢今天的主题吗？不要忘了按赞、订阅、分享我们的 YouTube 频道，还有。Facebook. Oh, 那接下来就要到 for you chat. Okay, so our for you chat question is: What do you think are some examples of special missions that members with service passports might carry out? Oh, I、mm. think, like we know that providing medical aid、mm-hmm. in areas. Is one of them, right? Right.、Mm. When they're going through, like we talked about, going through a national disaster, like earthquakes or hurricanes. Um, what else? I mean, also maybe helping in rebuilding, right?、Oh. After a war, they might go to help rebuild the area after wars or conflicts.、Mm, or maybe when they offer healthcare services, right, in remote areas, right, to people that are sick, that need healthcare, that need medicine, they can do that as well with that passport. Wow! So there are so many possibilities, so many reasons to do it. And exactly, and that's what makes it highly valued、mm. and makes it that special. So, everyone, that is all the time we have for today. We hope you learned a lot from this special passport article. My name is Adam, and I'm Elsie, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Vocabulary review. Passport. For our overseas flight. We have to show our passports before we can board the plane. Religious. This church is mainly used for religious events, such as services and prayer meetings. Organization. Annie and her neighbors started an organization that helps fix up old houses in the area. Mission. The general gave his best soldiers an important mission to attack a bridge held by the enemy. Currently, the swimming pool is currently closed to the public and will reopen in the spring. Value. Evie greatly values her friendship with Lisa because Lisa is always there to support her. 智慧小补帖。Humanitarian entity. Diplomatic disaster.